Hey one, this is Ultra Microscopic Gaming Scientist. The mixture of games and science is here. You might be seeing videos of the most strongest, most fastest, most largest, or even most dangerous animals in the whole world. But did you ever see a video on the most kinkiest animals? So let's start. Hey one, Ultra Microscopic Gaming Scientist here. What's up? Hope you're doing well, guys. So in this video, we are going to be talking about top 5 most stinkiest animals in the whole world. So let's just jump right into the topic with number 5, muskox. Muskox is a hooved mammal of the family Bovidae, a native to Arctic. It is noted for its thick coat. These furry horned mammals that inhabit the Arctic produce the smelly musk from the urine. It is only produced by the males and is used to mark their territory during the mating season. When making their territory, a lot of urine gets matted into the hair around their underbelly, giving them their distinctive smell. This musky odor has the effect of attracting females during the mating season. Ooh, stinky. But however, it's just nature and we need to take it for granted. But here comes an animal saying, I may be small, but I am smelly. And let's talk about it with number 4, stink bug. These insects are very tiny and native to China, Korea, Japan, and Taiwan. Sting bugs are now found in almost every area of the United States after being accidentally introduced. They get their name from the unpleasant odor of the chemicals they produce in the glands on their abdomen when they are threatened. Some species can actually spray the chemicals several inches away. Number 3 Wolverines Wolverines belong to the weasel family and these are shy members of the weasel family seldom seen by humans. Like most of the weasel family, they have glands that secrete a fluid they use to mark their territory just like a muskox. The musky scent is very unpleasant and has given wolverine nicknames of slunk bear and nasty cat. Wolverines will also spray their leftover food and bury it so that they can eat it later. Not only does this help them from finding it, but it deters others from eating it. Oh, but what is more over than number 2. Bombardier beetle. These beetles are most notable for the self-defense mechanism that gives them their name. When disturbed, they eject a hot noxious chemical spray from the tip of their abdomen. The bombardier beetle stores two separate chemicals in its body, hydroquinone and hydrogen peroxide. Whenever it feels threatened, the chemicals mix with some special enzymes and heat from the reaction brings the foul-smelling liquid to nearly 100 degrees Celsius which is almost enough for water to boil and produces gas that derives the ejection. The bombardier beetle is able to spray for up to four times its body length and damage caused can also be fatal to attacking insects and small creatures and is painful to human skin. Well, what is self-defense? Here comes all-time classic and the stinkiest and let's discuss it with Number 1. The Skunk You may be seeing in movies people running away from small black and white animals. If you wonder what it is, they are skunk. Because of their lack of speed, skunks do not try to outrun their attackers. Instead, they rely on the rams and spray for protection. The pungent liquid is a mix of sulfuric chemicals which they can spray accurately at, th at threats up to 3 meters away, with foul odor reaching up to a mile away. Despite the power of their spray, skunks do not really like to use it, as they only carry about 15 cc of this chemical in their body, enough for up to 5 to 8 sprays and it can take a week to replenish this supply. And here's a fact for you, want to know which substance is highly toxic to humans but does not harm skunks? And the answer is snake venom, true, snake venom does not affect skunk. See what an animal, from this we can learn that size doesn't matter and nature can teach us many things. So guys that's it for this video, this is Ultra Microscope signing out for now but we'll be back with some other interesting video, okay bye.